Yeah. <laughs> we were just joking about getting him in a boat. So they will uh, pull full life it's all down there. Well, you know yeah. him as well as I do, he always likes to do this. Yeah. This is one of the activities. So what happens is <laughs> we get harnessed up and then uh, clap. Yeah, it's really good. And how has it changed your life? Massively. It's just great fun just to come down here and have something to do. How old are you, Jamie? 16, 16, okay. 16. Yeah. Yeah. I just love being outdoors, really. So it's onto there. Yeah. Left hand. Just the white feather on the outside. Clicks in. Throw the third. Yeah, like that. And where do you do the side one? So you can pull up, up, pull there. Get out of the way of it. <laughs> <laughs> No, sorry, I'm <laughs> Oh, and again. Just, uh, just yeah, yeah. That. I'm a little bit more down. Okay. down. I'm a, if I pull you down a touch further, that should be okay now. Okay. Go when you're ready. Oh, closer. Oh. <laughs> Is that on red? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's more when you first start, uh, if the boat's wet you can slip and you can... The other end. Yeah. 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 No, I know, I've been, I've been banned from that. Alright, Edie. So, e when I see cats, I'm going to Young people coming here, doing bushcraft, climbing, archery, canoeing, things like that, and they're all telling me how they benefit from it. And this, of course, is in a background when there's been a 70% cut in youth service provision so in the past uh, nine years. £800 million taken out of our youth services. And not very surprisingly, there's been an increase in youth crime and youth violence as a result of it. So we do, as a country, have to invest in young people. That means youth services, it means youth workers. And I think we should make youth provision a statutory requirement and all local authorities and I'm determined to do that. But one particular thing will not solve all the problems. Obviously there's a number of issues here. One is refunding of our police service, putting more police <coughs> out on patrol and in the communities and particularly redeveloping the community police service and policing by consent. All of these things come together. But if you cut youth services, cut the numbers of police and local entertainment stuff for young people is out of reach and too expensive and after school clubs are a thing of the past because the schools can't afford it or don't have teaching assistance to help do it then you end up with a problem where young people simply do not get enough to do and enough support and then obviously after that crime begins to take over now we have to defeat this in a holistic approach this wonderful facility here today is an example of what can be done. I understand her solicitor has applied for legal aid. She is a British citizen. She's therefore entitled to apply for legal aid if she has a legal problem, just like anybody else's, and that decision will have to be made by the legal aid authorities, and I think they should be allowed to make that decision. She is a British citizen, and I do think uh, the idea of removing her citizenship is questionable, very questionable and wrong. Creating stateless people in the world isn't going to solve any problems. If she comes back here, she's obviously going to have to face a lot of questioning. She's going to have to face the possibility of legal action being taken against her. But that seems to me the right thing to do. So that way you also pick up the intelligence on what she did and what happened to her as well. But she is a British national, therefore she has that right like any of us do, like you or I do, to apply for legal aid if we have a problem. Is it right 